up, YouTube? It's your boy Steve O, the rookie. Um, yes, as the thumbnail shows, I want to talk about Uber Surge and Lyft Power Zones. Um, but before I do that, Geo, see that? Star Blast. Try this one, bro. Just give it one more shot. <laughs> that was a good vid yesterday, but those flavors. I mean, the unicorn one's good, but the cotton candy is what, like, my wife drinks. That is definitely a woman drink. I, I got you. I agree with you. Um, try Star Blast. Just try this flavor. You, I think if you drink this, I think you'll be sold on it. Um, I don't know where you bought those at, but these you have to get at 7-Eleven. I can't find them anywhere else, but it's called Star Blast. It's got, like, the... American flag color, so, um, all right, guys, as you see in the thumbnail, um, about surges and power zones, um, surges are great, um, I love the flat surge, uh, who did it, no limitation ride share, uh, most made a video about how flat surge does multiply, he did a good breakdown of it, um, I'll try, I'll try to link his videos below, I'm sure he don't mind, um, thing about surges is um they're good but I, I notice there's a lot of people that chase surges okay and what i mean by chase surges is let's say that like i'm sitting where i'm at right now i don't know maybe five miles up the road 10 miles up the road there's a surge right i'm not gonna chase that because i hate eating miles right now if the surge is like, I don't know, maybe a half mile, a mile at the most, then I'll start driving that way to try to get into that zone, right? Um, me personally, I like the Uber, the Quest um, promotions that they roll. Um, the power zones, I'm not a big fan of the live power zones. I mean, they're, they're you know, they're, they're good when they're there, but you know, there's a lot of myths out there of if you decline certain rides, you'll get them. And I mean, yeah, I think, I think Gio, I think you made a video on that where you declined so many, it didn't work. You declined in the afternoon, it didn't work. And then you declined like the last part of the day and then it worked. So I don't really know if, I don't, I, I don't know if that really works, but you know, when you do have a lift power zone, when that does go in effect, it is always good. The reason I tell you not to chase surges, um, and even power zone, what lift surges are, but you don't want to eat miles. You don't want to be driving farther than you have to. Um, that's just not good business. It's not good to eat miles. I hate eating miles, right? Um, I had to eat miles yesterday. I got a ride from, um, what was I? I was at SeaWorld and I got a ride to Comfort to SeaWorld to the airport and the line to get into the terminals was insanity. Mind you, the queue was only down to 40 cars, which usually it's anywhere from 200 to 300 to 360 on, I've seen as the highest. Um, but eating miles is, is just bad business. It's not good, guys. You got to try to avoid it. In certain circumstances, you got you to gotta eat miles, okay? What I mean by that is when, you, when you're driving and you're dropping off in areas you don't like, or not safe um like here in orlando we have pine hills um some people drive it but me i'm not driving it right um you got orange blossom trail pretty much from colonial to hunter's creek it's a, it's a rough area um you know i i've picked up a couple of times over there the problem with that is and i don't discriminate against any race or anything the low-income areas, you know, that's where you start to get, like, the marijuana s smell, right? That's where, yeah, you just, it's just bad, guys. You don't want that in your car because then your next passenger is like, what the hell is this guy smoking dope? Next thing you know, you got a false report on you. So, but, yeah, getting back to that, though, um, surges, you know, the other thing is by the time you do get to the surge zone, most of the time they're going to be gone, right? So I don't recommend chasing them. I mean, yes, they're beautiful when they happen. They're beautiful when they multiply because they do multiply. Um, but, you know, I'm just a different... I guess I have a different opinion on them, a different outlook on them because I'm not going to chase after them. That's one of the biggest top strategies I can, I can relay out there. I'm sitting... The city I live in, I'm sitting not too far from my house, actually. 
and let's say there was a surge in a town called, we'll just use Winter Garden as an example, that's the next town over. It's about eight miles to get there though, so I'm not going to drive eight miles just to get a $3, $7, even a $10 surge. It's just, it just doesn't make sense. Now, if the surge map starts to grow and it starts to go to Oakland, which is a small little tiny town, I didn't even mention it, between my town, I might start driving a little bit that way. Because if the surge is growing larger, there's a reason. There's a demand, a huge demand, obviously. That's why surges goes into effect. So it's important to understand surges and how they work. Um, same thing with power zones, but you know, more or less surges is, is what I'm talking about. Um, if that map starts to shrink, you know, it's, it's, and you're just running after it, running after it, and you're declining trips, declining trips, you could be declining airport trips. If you don't have Uber Pro and you don't have trip duration, um, you don't know what you're missing. So that's why I don't do that. Um, and that's another reason I don't work the airport because I don't want to sit around and be a damn bum. I'm going to come out with a video for you guys. I promise. Um, it's going to be a tour of the lot. I want you guys to check it out, see what I'm talking about. Yesterday I drove by there when I was driving my rider from SeaWorld to the airport. It was a comfort ride. It was him and his three kids. Um, I, I, I love comfort rides here in Orlando because the, the riders don't know about the special options. They don't, they don't ask for anything. And I get paid a little bit extra, so I'll take it. Um, but, yeah, that's all I got, guys. I just wanted to talk about surges real quick. Uh, they're great when you fall right into them. I've fallen into them a lot. The screenshot, actually, I have, that was, I fell right into that. Um, I think I was doing a video or something, and I was offline, and I had my tablet mounted, because I use an iPad, and I use an Android. I use Android for Lyft, I use my tablet for Uber, um, and I just felt, it just, the surge just came hovering right over me, and I'm like, shit. Let me wrap this video up and go online, because that's when you want to do it. You want to get locked into that surge. So that's all I got, guys, for this one. If you have any questions about surges, lift power zones, uh, quests, whatever, uh, drop a comment below. Shoot me an email. Any questions about anything related that I can help out with in Orlando and Florida? Um, yeah, that's all. So check the description below for more helpful, useful information. Keep doing what you do. Um, stay safe. Be smart. Don't be stupid. Make sure you get your advice from real rideshare drivers, not these fakes. Um, until next time, keep Uber and lifting and gigging on. Later.